Hey, it's Kurt here, and I have a review of four different strollers. Um, I actually own all four of these strollers. I've used them all quite frequently. I have a three-month-old and a two-year-old, so um, they've gotten a lot of use. And as you can see, they're a little dirty. Got a lot of sand in them from going to the beach. I uh, got dirt on the wheels, uh, wipes underneath them that I just cleaned out. So um, it's not just a review where I go over all the features of them. I'm going to show the things that I like about them, the things that I don't like about them. I'll show you how they fold up, how they fit in uh, my car. Um, I'm going to start over here. We have the Britex Be Agile Stroller. This is around $230. It's a pretty simple uh, stroller. Um, the next one here we have the Bob uh, Jogger Flex. This one is about $400, just under $400. It's a single jogger stroller with actual tires. Next we have the Upper Baby Cruise. This is a single stroller again. And um, it's not a jogger, it's got the traditional wheels. And lastly here we have the um, Bumble Ride Indy Twin. It's a double jogger stroller. And um, this one does not come with the features to click a car seat in and out of. You have to put them in, take them out when you go to your car seat. Same with the Bob. Um, they do have attachments though for them, I believe, where you can attach a car seat. Now I'm going to take them all and fold them up and uh, I'll speed it up for you so you don't have to uh, wait and see how long it takes. Uh, but I'll be folding them up and putting them down here so you can see what they look like. So this is what they all look like folded up. Um, they all fold up relatively easy. The one exception I'll say is this one is a little tough to fold up. If you have the bars on it, you have to take the bars off. Uh, otherwise, they'll get pinched in between here and it won't fold up quickly. And the wheels have to be to the side. Sometimes when you're trying to load it up into your car, the wheels will get stuck like this and it'll hit there and rub up against it. And it won't quite want to close very easily. So this one's a little harder. It's just a little bigger. I think that's why it seems a little bit harder to fold up but most of them fold up relatively quickly. All right, now I'm gonna show you how they fit in my car. This is a uh, 2012 Impreza Sport hatchback. Um, it's not a very big trunk space here, even though it is a hatchback, um, compared to like a, my wife's Grand Cherokee, which has maybe about six inches more room. Uh, it, it's a little compact, so I'm not sure if they'll all fit in here. I'm kind of thinking the double won't, but uh, I'll show you how they fit. So, uh, Bird-X Be Agile. Fits relatively easily, uh, a lot of room on the sides. You can go all the way over here, all the way this way. You can fold it up on its side too if you wanted to. I could probably fit this one and the upper baby in here if I wanted to. So there's a lot of room here. This one's nice and compact. Here we have the Bob um, Jogger. And then this one, a little bit tighter. It's a little tight here, um, forward and backward. Side to side, it's not too bad. It's got a little extra space. Make sure it can close. Yep, close is fine. So it fits, can't fit much else in here. Up a baby. Now the upper baby will fit fine without folding. Uh, I need to fold this in a little bit. There we go. Fits great. A lot of space here. A little bit of space forwards and backwards. About got about six inches to a foot on either side. So upper baby fits nicely. All right, now for this behemoth. This thing is heavy. Uh, let's see if it fits forward and backward. I'm not sure if it will. You know what? This is pretty close. Uh, I don't think it's going to latch if I do this. No, nope, not quite. It's pretty close, though. Uh, it's a lot closer than I thought it would be. Almost. Let's try it one more way. Here we go. <sighs> All right. I think we got it. Let me check inside. It made it in. It closed the door, so. It's only sitting over the uh, seats a little bit, so I'll, I'll count that as fitting in, but it's not pretty and it's not easy to get in or out, it's heavy. All right, now I'm gonna go into um, how they open up and the Be Agile is um, probably the only one that I really like the mechanism here for how it opens. And the reason is because um, when you hold the handle here, if you're lifting up on it, like you're gonna slide it out and open it, all you have to do is push this, and even if you're pulling up on the handle, it'll it'll click open. And I can do it really easily with just one hand. So I just 
pull up, click, you pull, the, you pull it out and it flops open. Now the bob doesn't actually have anything that stops it from opening. So all you have to do for the bob is you get it over here, and lift it up and it just opens right up. There's no latch to stop it from opening. Just pull it out, just like so. The Uppa Baby has a similar style latch to the uh, B Agile, the Britax, um, but this one has a little nub in here and there's a hole that you have to pull this open for it to open past. The problem with these, this type of clip that holds it on is if you're pulling up to open the stroller, it pinches up against the underside of this lip so you can't open it when you're trying to lift up on the handle. So you have to let the pressure off and you have to line it right up in the middle of the hole, which is a little annoying before it'll let you open it. If you're pushing down, it won't come up. If you're all the way up, it won't come out either. So it's got to be right in the middle and that's just a little bit more of a hassle to try and get it exactly in that spot. And the Bumble Ride Twin, um, it has a similar uh, clip style to that of the Uppa Baby, where it has to be right in the middle of this hole for it to work. It's down, it, it, it can't really go any further down, so it's almost always in the bracket. But if you're pulling up really hard, it won't want to pull, this tab won't want to pull out and let it open up. So you have to let the pressure off to open it and then open it up, but it's not as bad as the other one. That is if you can manage to put the uh, stroller in the correct way facing forward and having and it being able to fit there. All right, now I'm gonna show you uh, loading and unloading them, uh, complete from start to finish. I like and don't like about um, each one individually. So we'll start with the Brit X, the Agile. Um, I like that it comes with some sort of container for your things, some sort of holder. Even though it's just this little flap here, it still has little pockets you can put drinks and things in. The handle does not adjust for height. It's fixed at this height. Uh, I'm 6'2", and it's a little short for me. I have to have a slight hunch but if you were under 6'2", I wouldn't even like consider that as a selling point for it because it's, it's a fine height as is. Uh, I like the ease of use with this one. It's very simple to use. It's easy to put into and out of your car. It folds up nicely. Uh, it's nice and light too. You got good storage underneath. It's pretty basic. It just got some foam padding. Just got a, a simple mesh um, carrier. There's nothing fancy about it which is okay if you, if you don't care about those things. One thing I will say is it's a little clunky with the front wheel. Sometimes when you're in really tight spots, if you want to make a quick turn, it, it doesn't turn exactly as you would expect it to um, at low speeds. So it's not as precise as some of the other ones like the Uppa Baby is, um, but, but most of the time you don't even notice that thing. I didn't notice it until I was with the Uppa Baby for a while. Oh, the Bob. Uh, I like the canopy on it. It's nice, nice and big. It's got a, a screen here so you can see in. It's got a little mesh spot for uh, air to flow through. This holder was not, did not come with it, so you have to purchase a holder separately. It's actually not too heavy for being a jogger uh, if you compare it to a double or some of the other joggers out there. So I like that. It's nice and light. It's, it's kind of a, a simple jogger storage underneath is a little hard to get to. It doesn't have the best options there. Um, but otherwise, it's a really nice straw. I like this one quite a bit. And the handles go up and down, which is nice for when you're running. You want to have a lot of options for how high or low. It's kind of awkward if you have to bend over while you're trying to run. I really like this one for the price point. Papa Baby, some things I like. Uh, I like the, if, if you're into it, I really like the leather and the finish on this one is very nice. The canopy is a nice cloth material. It doesn't look cheap. It looks like a really well-made um, item with, with nice materials. The basket is very big, which I really like about it. Um, a few really cool things about it. One is that you can flip 
the bass the seat around, and this is extremely light, which is nice. You flip this around, have them face towards you, and it's really easy on and off. Also, car seat can attach right to these as well, forwards or backwards. Uh, I, I like that about it a lot. That is very handy. I like how light and smooth this one turns. It's a very smooth, it's very precise. It turns on a dime, and um, it, it just feels very light to the push, which is really nice. And the, the crazy thing is they have an even lighter stroller than this one. And I, I don't think that one was out when I purchased this one. And I, I would really consider the even lighter one than this because I like it where you don't have to lug it up into your car, and lug it down, and it's very cumbersome. I like having a small one that's really easy to move around where you want it to go and, not, and it doesn't feel hard to push. One thing I really do not like about this one though is when you fold it, and again you have to push the bar and I usually have the bar up so I have to push it down before I fold it up, um, is that it's a cool feature but you have to again full, push this back out for it to stand upright and it's made to stand up on its end when you store it which saves a lot of space because if it's folded up it's a lot smaller and usually the other ones you have to lay down on their sides which is kind of weird just laying your stroller down on the floor like in your garage or something to take up a lot of room but if you fold it up like this it takes up a very little amount of space but again to close the stroller you have to push this in to close it and then you have to pull it back out again for it to stand up and if you don't open it all the way up to the pinch point then what happens is it tips over so it's a little finicky and it's better on flat ground but it's a neat feature that it had and now for the bumble ride again the, the joggers have really good tires with the rubber tires it's a really smooth ride and it almost feels like it has shock absorbers even though it doesn't um, the things I like about this one is you can put an insert in here this is what's called an infant insert Again, it doesn't come with it. I think it's about $50. So another add-on. And again, add-on for a cup holders, which is really annoying on a $700 stroller. Um, and you can fold this down like this, very easy. And you can flip this all the way up. And it actually snaps here. And so it's kind of like a bassinet for, for a really small baby. And you can close it all the way up. It's got a little peephole window. So it's very nice for a little one. And then I have our two-year-old here. So you can kind of go almost any age in this one. And then as they get older, it, you really, to, to switch it back to this kind of stroller, you just flip this down, you button these buttons back up here, take the infant seat out, and lift it up, and it's good to go. So it's, it's really simple, it's very functional. Even though it's a behemoth, it weighs a ton, it's clunky, it's kind of hard to get in and out of. But if you're going somewhere where you're gonna use it a lot, like if you go to the zoo, or if you're going on a day trip somewhere and you're going to get it out and keep it out, then I really like it. Um, if you're doing a short errand run, I would not recommend it because it's really clunky in and out. And if you're constantly having to get in your car and get out and get in and get out for different errands, it's probably not the stroller to have. All right, I'm going to go down the line one last time. I'm going to give one thing I like about it, one thing I don't like about it. And if I would recommend, actually I'd recommend all these. They're all pretty good strollers. Uh, if I had to do it over, I would choose a cheaper stroller than these ones up here. I kind of more of a bare bones kind of guy. I don't really care about the quality of it, how it looks, how flashy it is, uh, but that's just me. So if you want the flashy ones, you're going to have to spend quite a bit of money for them to look nice and be functional. So, Bridex Be Agile. I love the functionality. It's light, it's easy to get in and out of really quickly. Uh, things I don't like. It's a little clunky and it's not the best quality. The Bob Jogger, single jogger. I like that it's very smooth for a jogger. Um, I don't like that it is a little bit a little bit heavier than I like but it rolls really well for, for its use. So again, I actually really like this stroller a lot. Uh, the uh, Upper Baby Cruise. I, I really like how light it is and how smooth it is. I don't like the price point. I don't like that you have to buy the extra cup holders on it. Um, and again, the fit and finish is awesome on this one, but I don't really care too much about that. And the Bumble Ride, lastly, I like that it is very functional for different ages, and I love that it has the bassinet attachment. I love that it has the big spot underneath. Things I don't like, it's super heavy, it's very expensive, and you have to buy cup holders on a $700 stroller, it's crazy. 
So, um, yeah, I mean, there, there's not a bad choice. They're all good. It just really depends on your price point and what you're looking for in a stroller. So uh, that's my review. Thank you for watching.